We have lots of support material to back up the teaching of this book, and it can range from a complete e-learning package, which has been developed by the Institute of the Motor Industry, that matches the book perfectly, and it allows an absolutely incredible blended learning approach switching between the book and the e-learning. Now, for people who choose not to purchase the e-learning option, we've also created an additional website. And on our own website, we have got a range of videos, a range of multiple choice questions and pictures and additional support materials like that to assist the teachers who can cover all the subjects. And a key point is that we make sure the entire subject is covered from level one through to level three. So we've got ancillaries that work at all different levels with all types of students. Well, as, as an experienced teacher, it is a challenge sometimes um, motivating some of our students. They're all great kids, they really are, and they love the subject, but it is a challenge getting them going. And we've borne that in mind all of the time as we've been creating the content of this book. So it's not just about sit down, read that book, answer these questions. It's a much more blended approach, team approach, students working together, different activities, different ideas, different approaches, and particularly linking the book with the online resources adds a whole range of additional ideas. And of course, saves the teachers a huge amount of work. Unique. The unique approach is that there are a range of learning activities included in the book and we explain how all these work in chapter one. So there'll be simple things like the students are asked to make a sketch of a certain component. They might just have to do a list of bullet points or they might be encouraged to go and you know use Google and do some searching, look for different images, pictures, videos and that sort of thing. And we provide a lot of interactive features on our own website that make this even easier. So, for example, a student can go to our website and put in a term or a phrase like four stroke cycle or something like that. Click one button and it will search several different places all at the same time and bring back useful, interesting information. But the bit for me that is um, absolutely brilliant about keeping students engaged is that we've included some learning activities known as visible thinking or making thinking visible. And this is a range of about nine or 10 different activities. There are more if you want to research, but we've put in about nine or 10 really good activities. And these are very simple things. And I'll just explain one quickly, and it's called think, pair, share. So you ask the class to think about a subject um, which again, let's say four stroke cycles, whatever it may be. Then students go into pairs and discuss that idea. And then after they've had a little time doing that, one of the students will explain what ideas they've come up with to the rest of the class. And the whole process of this is not that radical when you think about it, but it allows you to sort of tell the students something, tell them again, tell them again, tell them again, and then tell them what you've just told them and it's a great way of learning a difficult subject. The first thing really is to let students know what's going on, explain the procedures and the expectations. How you treat the students, it matters, and you don't know what's happening in every kid's home life. So keep your sense of humor, socialize with your colleagues, and your connection with your students might surprise you. Historically, maths can be an issue for some students, and we've made provision for this within the textbook because maths makes such an important part of what we teach. It is contextualised for the automotive sector for things like tyre pressures and antifreeze, and also for things like uh, Ohm's law and the electrical aspect of what we do. As our industry becomes more complex, more theory foundation is required. It's not all hands-on learning. So making sure that these maths problems are squared away is gonna be really important.
The people who will find this book useful are mainly going to be the people who are learning, but also the people delivering the content. Uh, we now have far more blended learning approaches, and this can be found on the IMI website and also on the Automotive Technical Training website. Emerging topics within the sector are things like electric vehicles, hybrid technology, alternative fuels and ADAS. This can all be found in the last chapter of the book, but there are further textbooks available in the series if you would like to learn some more.